The kids that come to Byron, they're coming from it for a different experience. In Byron, it's more chilled, it's more relaxed. We encourage them to enjoy that special Byron vibe while they're here. We've turned schoolies in Byron into something that is far different to any other destination. Initially, there was really nothing here. Even local police were sort of up against it a bit and the odd youth worker was, all they were trying to do was separate young kids who were getting a bit caught up in it. It was all a bit reactive. Schoolies happen. It's a rite of passage. There are future doctors, lawyers, CEOs, all in one place. And so for us in local communities, we're looking after them and putting safeguards around that. There are no shots, no jugs in any of our pubs or clubs. Besides that, all of our bottle shops have bags and also thick yellow packing tape. All of them carry the secondary supply message. We try and wean them away from drugs and alcohol by giving them something to do here during the day and during the night. The park up here is a drug and alcohol free place. It's lots of fun to come and help out. When there's a whole bunch of youth that are in a specific area and a lot of them are drinking, they don't necessarily have the ability to look after themselves or other people at some point. And to have someone there that isn't the police, it makes us more approachable and it feels a lot safer to know that there's people watching you. What the local buddy group and this hub has allowed us to do is to be a bit proactive, strategic, they fill gaps and actually work collaboratively. A lot of the thing about influencing culture is about getting right in there and making a difference from the inside. So you need to value others and partner with others. Everyone has something in their hand to make a difference. Over the last three years in Byron, there's been a 50% reduction in all areas of alcohol-related crime. So we know we've had a major impact. Our community is to learn, I think, having a bit of tolerance for the kids. But yeah, just let them have a bit of fun. Give them a little bit of freedom but, uh, within reason. We're all 18 once, you know, the world's your oyster. So what I want from them is that they look back and say, we looked after each other, we made good decisions, we really rocked, and man, that was the best holiday I've ever had with my mates.